Hello my friends, and now that Naruto is finished, we're moving on to greener pastures, and yeah, if you can't tell by the name of the game, I'm clearly being sarcastic. This is Demon Days, a PS3 exclusive, which uh, many of you may know as the prequel to Dark Souls itself, which has recently had a sequel to announce, so I thought, you know what, why not have it a go? Now I'm kind of scared of this game, I mean, it's got a pretty big presence about it, so we'll see what's going to happen. Adjust the brightness. Well, because we're a pussy, we'll go to full brightness. Yeah, that's the way we roll. Um, camera speed is fine. Subtitles on, please. Brightness is fine. Yeah, we'll leave all that. That sounds good. Um, not that I really know how this is going to affect me, because I haven't played it. Yes, we're going in completely blind, because that's the way we roll. What's our name going to be? We shall call ourselves the Mighty Tarot. Okay, that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four. A, R. Now, for those of you that haven't heard of Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls Two, yeah, there's quite a lot to choose from now. So I'm surprised you've been, you know, I'm surprised you came crawling out of your rock for this. But basically, it's a third-person RPG game, and where the twist is that it's freaking hard, or something like that, along those lines. Let's be royalty. Royalty sounds good. What else could we be? I don't know different starting levels, that doesn't make any sense. Where are we royalty? We are very royal. Edit appearance. Anyway, yeah, so it's a... It's a uh, third person RPG, published by Japan Studios, which is interesting enough. And, yeah, they are particularly well known for being difficult. Well, you can make yourself more... How is there a sliding scale for male female? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh, whatever, we're in the middle. What hair can we have? We have a bowl cut, swept back, parted center. So, as you can see, the customization isn't exactly uh, special. That would do. What are our details? You know, we don't care too much, because I doubt we're going to be seeing the face of our guy that much. So, we'll go with that. That sounds good. Right, how do we move on? Let's go into the game of Demon Souls itself. And, uh, fear for my life, because I fear for it. Yeah. I wouldn't be expect if you. I wouldn't expect. Much fantasticness. King me. Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the Royal Twin Fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had aroused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The sixth saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. I mean, that many people. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. 
But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Or have the demons found a new slave? Very good question. I have a feeling we're going to be the latter, which is probably not what we want to do, but we'll attempt to win. That's how we roll anyway. That's the majority of games for you. So, don't expect me to be fantastic, because, yeah, I've got zero experience. Absolutely zero. I'm just level one. I'm level two. For those of you that don't know, so, soul, we'll work it out. Fears, not death. I have a circuit. I shall guide you. Royal. Shall guide me. My shield is also dangling off my back, like, by magic. Oh, follow the kid's voice, because, you know, I'm a pedo, and I need to touch the kitty up. So okay, that don't. You may love the old one. Back to slumber. It's it's a lie. I don't. I'm not that kind of person. I promise. <laughs> it would be slightly awkward. Radio. Oh, that was easy. So we have this. That's dodgy. Oh, that was not something I wanted to do. Probably healy items. How do we attack? All right. The triggers attack. The triggers and the bumpers. Can we jump. We got. No, don't eat the grass. Oh man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We take our first guy on. Can we lock on? We can. You die. Oh, you die again. Die some more. Okay, we're like it's like an epic. Can we just hold the shield up? And... Oh, we can. We we'll just do that then. That sounds fine. We never get hurt. Oh, that'd be fantastic at this game. I've already know it. Right. Okay. So let's get some grips and some controls. We don't want to hit square. Circle seems like a good button to hit. Let's read the message. Direction. Hold circle to sprint. Okay, that's the tutorial then. This is the tutorial. It seems to have dumped us in. I want a guard. Well, I learned that one. I learned that one by button pressing. Hello. Hello, hello. I cannot see. There are trees in the way. Killy, killy. Oh, I like this F. It's good. Nice. Is it an F8? It looks like it. I'm going to this. There are sometimes traps. That's what it is saying. Kill you. Uh, R3 to lock. We worked that one out as well. Oh, wow. There's two. There's also a guy here. Oof. That was lucky. Was lucky. Oh wow, look, you can do like a counter. Oh, it didn't seem to work, but I killed him. It doesn't matter! Yeah, we're doing alright. Considering I've never actually touched this before, we can roll. Rolling seems good. You can also... That is a weird way to die. That, that... What? Seriously? Seriously? That's so... I'm, I'm not... I, I don't know what to say. That's quite funny, actually, but yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's the physics engine or just... Oh, hello. Ambush, what's the shield button I forgot? I pressed the shield button. Oh. I didn't shield. Did a very bad job of shielding. Oh, well, my counters. I don't know. Is, is there an animation if you counter, or is it just like, uh. Yeah. Well, I've heard there's lots of traps in here, so I will be on the lookout. I, I guess it's observation. Can I try this? Yes, I can. So, yeah, like I was saying, I have pretty much no idea. I watched a little bit of Dark Souls. I played a little bit, not really properly, but. Yeah, so I kind of know. Like, the essence of the sequel, but that doesn't mean I know much about this one at all. And I think this one is less open world than Dark Souls, I do believe. But I wouldn't know. We jump off this edge, it looks like we can. We grab his sugar. Oh, grass, that's good. Uh, can we change? Royal Lotus, Crescent Moon Graph. We probably want the Half Moon Graph, that sounds like less. This is gonna hurt. Yes. Yes, it did. That hurt a lot. That was quite a full effect. It's good, quite nice thing. What's this gonna say? Back step roll. We worked that one out as well. It's really bad at telling us stuff before we work it out. But I guess, you know, pro gamer like me. <laughs> Not. Don't know what I'm trying to say here. Okay, that's one down. Just block it. And I see blocking takes away some of your stamina, which is the green bar. So it is a lot like Dark Souls in that sense. Okay, jump at me, I stab him, stab him, and then kill him again. Oh my guy. Receiving his souls from the dead people. Anyway, it doesn't particularly nice to so just keep that person around that's an interesting physics engine right there so this game was released in 2010 it said so on the thing so it's actually not so old it's probably one of the newer games that i've actually covered which is impressive just shows that how old the games i usually cover are but there you go we're gonna you know it's january so it's a wait for nino kumi so there you go what's this archstone doing warp to new area yeah why not i assume there's nothing else in this area apart from the dead people which we killed we made 18 souls is that good like, I don't know how people have more than one soul in this game, but they do. 
That's how it goes. Sage Freak, the visionary. You look quite cool. I wonder if we'll meet him. We have full health again. <gasps> Amazing. R2 to strong out. We also worked that one out. Oh my god. He's looks slightly more scary than the last two. You will be no match for me though. I will kill him. Kill him some more. Oh sugar. Don't do that, that's scary. I guess I ran out of energy there, which is probably not the best idea. But it's fine, we're here. We live. We can roll. We can roll and we can roll. Yeah. So anyway, I was saying this this game was released in 2010 and is actually now part of a trilogy, I guess, kind of. It's a spiritual it's it's the precessor. It's not really like Dark Souls isn't a continuation, I don't think, but it's like using lots of the same ideas, the same engine, that kind of stuff. That was poor. I don't think I should try countering. I don't think I'm very good at it. Oh no, 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 no! Don't do that! Okay, well, we learnt how to dodge and we learnt that this guy is scary, so we stab him. So he's dead. And apparently he has souls in him as well. Maybe he's a demon. Demon, you're demon! I, I can sense you, demon. Let's walk down this tunnel and see what there is. See what we can see. see. Oh, wow, that guy's looks scary. Okay. We can take him though. I, 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 I believe in my ability to not die painfully and horribly. Okay, can we get back around him and kind of backstab him? I wonder if that's. Can you backstab? I'm sure you can. You can backstab in Dark Souls, so I'm sure you can backstab him. So we got him hit. We hit him. We hit him twice. Yeah, we're gonna win. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh god, we're... Okay, nope. We're back up. Right, we're not doing so hot. We're not so hot so far. Oh no. Okay, so if he hits us, he seems to break our guard, so I guess he can do quite a bit of damage. We'll just keep stabbing him. You know, stabbing through his armor. That's how strong a sword is, dick. Stabby, stabby! One more, one more! No, he's not close enough. Oh no. No, 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 no! See that skill? It's what I've evolved into. Prowess Dark Soul players. Demon Souls, even. Sorry, I'm getting confused now. Stabby, stab, you're dead. You're dead! 51 souls from that guy. I don't think that's very much, actually. Like in, in Demon Souls, you get like Dark Souls. God, I'm getting so confused already. You get like hundreds, thousands per kill. I, like I said, I haven't really played very much. I had a go at the beginning, and I know the tutorial kills you, and I'm pretty sure the tutorial is inspired by this one, so I would assume that uh, I'm gonna die horribly at some point in this tutorial. But that's fine, that's cool, that's meant to happen, so. Come on then, I'm gonna counter you, dick. Okay, he's just gonna hold his shield up, like, like a pro, like a boss. We'll roll around him. Oh, nope. Will we? Oh, what's he gonna do? What, what, what do you want? Oh, oh, you can block my... Okay, uh, actually, I just realized we didn't heal him. We're only, like, four to health. Let's just keep backing away. Maybe he won't follow us. Eh, he won't, I'm sure. Okay, okay, we're fine. Let's eat some grass. Why are you eating grass? How would... No, I don't understand. I don't understand. Japanese game, yeah? Let's just put it down to that. You eat grass in Japan, too. Cool. They don't even eat cows, do they? Can we go up here? No, okay, we do have to go past that scary green bluey. Bluey, he's blue. He's not green, he's blue. We have to go past the scary blue shieldy man. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, no, okay. I was gonna sneak up on him and try and stab him, but it didn't work. Look, I have no guard up, dude. Okay. Oh, do I have to have it in two hands? Is that the idea? I think I do. I think that's... Oh, maybe... Oh, I can do one damage. That's good. Maybe if I have it in two hands, I can break his shield or something. I do two damage. Two damage. Two more! Have two more. Dick. Can I parry with this? I'm not sure I can. They both look the same. Alright, okay. I'm going to get my shield back out because I'm less scared of him than I have a shield. Oh! 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 Look at that! Oh! I'm awesome! I counted him. I am freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm freaking awesome. I'm gonna die horribly now because I jinxed it. I bet there's a trap on one of these stairs and you just... Oh, I can see it coming. There's gonna be an ambush. Someone's gonna walk out from behind the shadows. Basically, expect everything because they do just try and kill you here. What's the message say? Change weapon. Do I have more weapons? Oh, sugar. What am I doing? Oh, I have a wand. <gasps> Why didn't I not use this? How do I use it? How do I use my wand? Oh, it's probably the same as using a sword, isn't it? Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's soul arrow attack. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. They give you quite a lot to start with, then. If you start with a uh, sword and shield and a freaking magic spell. That's, I think that's more than they give you in the other one. Okay, use magic. Thank you. I can do that. And I will do that, because 
Oh, oh no, he's scary. Let's go after him and kill him. You there, die! You can't shoot through my shield because it's made of, I don't know, some element you haven't found in this time yet. Ha ha ha, I win. This place is pretty spooky, actually. Well, I don't know what it's meant to be, but it is pretty damn spooky. Spooky indeed. Um, don't do really, don't really have too much to say about this. We're going to keep playing and see what happens. Like, I'm still expecting a horrible, horrible fate to behold me. Oh, it's a cauldron. It's magic spells, and what the... Yeah, they're cooking blood, ladies and gentlemen. Making them black pudding. Oh, that's a very English thing, so if you don't know what it is, then... It's not very nice, it's literally blood. Blood, 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 blood. Because <laughs> we're vampires, and that's how we roll. That did not work, as I was trying to do what I did to that knight guy. I'm going to do it. Bring it on. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to shield you, and I'm going to FA you to death. Because I can. Yeah, dick. God, trying to kill me. Now, I'm glad these enemies aren't, like, five times stronger than me, because I would probably be well and truly dead, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, in Dark Souls, they, they murder you quicker than this, but this is the tutorial, so <laughs> they let me off easy, which is nice, in a sense, it's good for me, can I jump across this, can I jump, I'm not sure there is a jump button, my guy is looking weird looking, oh well, oh, okay, let's go through the fog of war, oh, what's it called, enter fog, you know, the colourless fog, which is very much blue, oh look, where did you come from? Ooh, dick! Oh, why did I not kill him with my counter-attack? I don't know. But he bounced off my shield and I killed him. I stabbed him up. Oh, okay. We're doing okay. We're not dead yet. Yay, you haven't killed us yet. You haven't made good enough impression. Because we're not dead. You suck, obviously, clearly. <laughs> Let's eat some grass, actually. Oh, no, we want to use the half grass. Cause... I don't know. Does the full grass? Crescent moon grass. Who's he left than half moon grass? I guess it's got a crescent, and a crescent means something. Crescent means less than half now, apparently. I'm not sure it does. See some more grass. Who knows what beholds, what, you know, what lies, what lurks behind this scary cage. Oh, actually, it does look quite scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Hello, Van, oh, Jesus. No, no. Okay, dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm dead. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Demon Souls, my friends. That's that's it. Well, okay. Um, I suck. I thought I was a pro, but apparently not. Okay. Does that mean we just respawn and go back there, or what? Actually, I don't know what happens. What happened? We lost painfully. Yeah. Not the best thing I've ever seen. Probably not the best thing you've ever seen. That was pretty dire. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Demon Souls. Oh, this is new. Oh, was the kid here. Hooray, we found you. It's all I wanted to do. <laughs> Ish. Not at all. He has a giant sword. Be careful not to drop that. That would be painful. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Absolutely. So the world summon something might be your finger. Magic. Finger of magic. Oh, it's me. I'm alive. <laughs> Thank you for reviving me. Now die. Be the first thing we say is when we kill her. Oh. This is the Nexus. Oh, thank you. It holds together the, the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the node. What's a node? A node of what? A node of the node of the Nexus? You have died, and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. Fantastic. Do I want to regain my physical body? How do I open my inventory? Is it possible? Oh, we can do this. Inventory. What did I just receive? User loses souls and is returned to... That sounds dreadful. I don't want that. <laughs> can I drop it? No. Okay. I've got some stone. I've got a rapier. It's not an epee. Rape, I guess it is kind of a type of... We got the wizard. These aren't very royal. Wizard clothes, I guess. Should we talk to that woman that saved us? Hello, but how do I put my sword away? I look kind of... I don't want to hurt anyone. They, they seem friendly. They're not hostile. They look human-like, so... I guess that's a big clue. Okay, just... I'll take my fingers off the triggers, and then, then we can't attack, right? Hello! I'm Stockpile Thomas. Hello, Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, 
I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Pretty Nexus. What happened to me. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. Yep, so did I. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would oh, be happy to lighten your load and look after any ex- Ah, oh, well, thank you. Um, I don't think I have any- Best of luck to you. So thanks. Thanks anyway. Uh, you look like a smithy. I really don't think I can do anything. So who am I looking for? I am probably looking for that woman that just revived me. Let's talk to this guy. See what he says. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? Yes, I did. Trade you for came it. for demon souls, or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> His echoey voice is strange. Not normal. Hunting for demons. Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria. That's where we are, Boletaria. I'm not sure if that is the same place as Demon Souls, but we're heading into Boletaria Palace, apparently. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry shoulders whose souls have been stolen by demons. Attack trespassers and terrible demon nest here. Dragons, even. Oh, great. That sounds fantastic. But that's where we're headed. But not now. Next time. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll continue on with our Demon Souls run. Next time. Good night.